Hey guys, welcome back. We have finally got our hands on Sig Sauer's P365, and in this video, we will let you guys know everything we have found after extensive use and rigorous training. By the end of this video, you will know every detail of Sig Sauer's P365, including features, design, firing capabilities, and most importantly, the hands-on experience. We will also discuss some least talked aspects of the pistol that can be crucial while deciding whether to purchase this pistol or not. So let's get started. P365 is a striker fired semi automatic pocket pistol that was introduced in 2018 by Sig Sauer. It is dubbed as one of the best concealed carry pistols because of its small and narrow size. Several police departments have adopted it as a service gun, including Indiana State Police, Chicago Police Department, Pasco County, Florida, Hayward, California, and Miami Beach Police Department. Besides the standard P365, Sig Sauer also provides five more variants with minor detail tweaks. While each has admirers, the standard P365 stands out because of its ease of use and unbeatable accuracy. Specifications of SIG P365 The standard P365 weighs 500 grams, about 18 ounces. The length, width, and height are about 5.8 inches, 1 inch, and 4.3 inches, respectively. This combination of lightweight and compact design makes it one of the best concealed carry guns. You can conveniently store it in your pocket, purse, and even in medium-sized clutches. Phil Strader, pistol product manager at SIG, while talking about the P365, said, quote, We designed something that you could carry every single day, 365 days a year. No compromise and no change in guns. Furthermore, it is a semi-automatic pistol, so even if the new bill, the HR-1808, gets introduced, there will be nothing to worry about. SIG P365 uses patented SIG Sauer system action, offering little to no recoil. The feed system is a standard box magazine with a capacity of 10 plus 1 rounds. You can also get magazines with capacities of 17 plus 1 and 12 plus 1 rounds in other variants. The standard P365 uses 9mm rounds, but if you like 380 better, Sauer offers a variant, P365 380. Besides the round caliber, everything else in both pistols is identical. Features of SIG P365 Size to Capacity Ratio There is no shortage of small handguns in the market, which can be carried around without getting noticed. But the problem with almost all such handguns is their magazine capacity. Most pistols with comparable sizes, including Glock 43, offer a small capacity of about 6 plus 1. It is exactly what discourages most people from these small firearms. P365 on the other hand offers a standard 10 plus 1 round capacity. Another variant of the P365, X Macro, allows up to 17 plus 1 rounds, and that too without compromising much of the compactness. This incredible size to capacity puts P365 in a league of its own, and it is mainly the reason most people prefer it over Glock's models. In-hand feel. The pistol offers a solid in-hand feel because of the textured grip. Furthermore, the pattern on the lever also makes it easy to pull back, but like all compact size handguns, the overall control was slight. Frankly, it is not something we can complain about because all small size pistols inherit the problem, and most people who purchase such handguns are completely aware of the compromise. People with no prior experience with pocket guns would certainly find it difficult to handle at first, but if you give it some time and practice with it on the range, the pistol will grow on you. Furthermore, the ergonomic grip, general frame contour, backstrap, and undercut trigger guard compensate for the lack of size and makes things easier than most competitors. Surprisingly, despite the smaller size, we found it more convenient than the Glock 43 single stack pistol. Sights 
Another impressive feature we noticed was the X-Ray 3 sights, installed at the top of the slide. Normally, when you tuck the pistol out of your pants or purse, you experience a snag that does not exist in P365. It is something that is common with small handguns and can often frustrate the owners. Luckily, the design of P365 is well thought out, which prevents that. It is one of those things that you expect from a compact pistol and compromise on it, but not with the SIGS P365. Furthermore, the sights are bold and offer daily and night functions. The front sight is green and donut shaped and contains a tritium insert, making it usable even in low lights. Two tritium inserts are incorporated into the rear sight as well. Both sights are dovetailed into the slide and provide great assistance in daylight and dark hours. Overall smoothness. P365 uses a push button to release the triangular magazine that otherwise holds in pretty tight. The side release is small and non-obtrusive, and the takedown lever is quite smooth as well. And trigger? We do not know exactly how, but Sauer has certainly improved it. Anybody who has used Sauer before would know that Sauer pistols come with generic triggers. They get the job done, but there is nothing special about them. But from the feel of it, Sauer has gone the extra mile to provide that feel. While the trigger on P365 does not look as attractive, it is certainly more comfortable. It breaks cleanly and offers a very smooth pull. Although the pull weight is not as much, it is excellent for the intended purpose. On range. While the gun looks good on paper, the ultimate test to determine the quality happens at range. We shot several magazines to form an opinion on the performance of P365, and unsurprisingly, there wasn't much that we didn't like. We first tested the range, the forte, of the Glock 43. We were expecting a little compromise in the power because of the smaller size, but we were met with surprises like everything else. Hitting the target from a standard 15 yard distance seemed a piece of cake. Despite the smaller size, the P365 was easier to shoot than the Glock 43. We also tried the walk back drill, starting at 15 yards and targeted a steel silhouette. The pistol was hitting the target even from a 135 yard line. Off the bench shots by the P365 were also quite impressive. While the polymer frames are known to dampen the recoil, we expected some push because of its very light weight, but the pistol always felt sturdy and completely in control. We were able to hit the short target with every round, even when they were fired in tandem with each other. Be mindful that we are not comparing it with heavier 9mm pistols. Those machines are much more stable, but as far as the compact category goes, the recoil absorption of P365 was quite impressive. While the pistol performed excellently for the most part, some issues did not go unnoticed. The first one involved the magazine. Its base is completely covered by the hand grip, even if you have medium sized hands. Thus the magazine can't fall free, which can be a problem should you encounter a hostile situation. You want the magazine to fall off without losing the pistol's grip but because of its smaller size, it is impossible, and you have to take the hand off the grip. Furthermore, the pistol's slide was also noticeably harder to retract back. It is probably because we tested side by side with Glock 43, which has very smooth retraction, but it is something we did notice in our testing. You may not feel it if you do not use another gun besides P365, and even if the retraction is better on Glock 43, the P365 outshines it with all its other features. It has been reported that the slide of the P365 does not return back to the battery with 9mm rounds. We do not want to invalidate the claims, but we observed no such issue after using two separate pistols. It is possible that Sauer might have made some adjustments after the initial reports, and since we tried the latest makes, it is possible that we got our hands on the models that were rectified. Takeaway Pocket pistols are not as great as their larger counterparts when it comes to accuracy, recoil, and overall control. The design that makes it suitable for one particular application limits it for others. But with SIG P365, one has to make lesser compromises. The size to capacity ratio on this handgun is incredible 
and this alone makes it better than most pocket gums. But P365 goes beyond that and offers excellent grip, control, and accuracy, which makes it one of, if not the best, concealed carry firearm in the market. Sig Sauer has provided enthusiasts with a pocket gun that can be used as the main weapon, and it is quite a big deal. We hope this video was informative and entertaining. Stay connected with us to learn more about weapons and get daily updates on everything related to firearms. We will see you at the next one.